Welcome back. This is Rito here with another Terraria Journey's End item showcase. Today we are going to be looking at some of the new vanity sets that you can get in Terraria Journey's End, the 1.4 update. I've been doing tons of boss farming to get items for other showcase videos, and I've been finding lots of new vanity sets, so I wanted to just show some of those off really quick. And the one I want to look at first is Grox the Great. And oh my goodness, look at this. This is so cool. I look like a goblin or some monster or something. This one is quite neat. I really like the wings. These wings look amazing. They have like a really nice flapping animation. I love the way the blue is kind of bouncing around a little bit. It reminds me of fire or maybe some sort of magic or something. And the wings look so cool when you're falling. I don't really like the green color that much, so I want to try a couple dyes on this. Let's see how like red and black would look. Oh yeah, red and black looks way cool. I like this a lot more. And let's see what some of the other dyes look like. Here's cyan in black, which I think also looks pretty awesome. This dyes quite well. Here it is with bright cyan which looks pretty nice. It's like a very silver kind of look, but with some slight color to it. And here it is with Martian dye, which I think looks absolutely awesome. And here is the black and white. So there are lots of really cool options. You can mix and match them and do all sorts of stuff. But yeah, this set is probably one of my favorite vanity sets now. It just looks so dang good. And of course I wanted to show the awesome midnight rainbow one which on this set looks pretty cool. I wonder if it would look good to have just the wings doing it because it's a little bit much to have the whole set. Yeah, it's kind of cool just to have the wings going Midnight Rainbow. And this one I got from Hard Mode Treasure Bags. And actually that's the case for all of these. I don't know if there's any restriction other than getting Hard Mode Treasure Bags. And I think you just, the more you get, the more chance you have to acquire these items. And that was Grox the Great's set. And let's check out the Safe Man's Sunny Day. You've got the Safe Man's Blanket Cape. You have the Safe Man's Pink Leggings, Safe Man's Sun Dress, and Safe Man's Sunny Day. So you've got your little sun. It's very similar to the Halo vanity. But it's cool that the flight is actually from the cape. Very nice. The thing I really like about this is that there aren't many capes in Terraria. It adds a lot of versatility to the game because now look, I can have a cape with my vortex armor, which is kind of cool. The way it flies is a bit interesting. <laughs> it's like a light switch, but let's put the rest of the vanity back on. I think this would probably look better on a female character. So I may go through and try all these on a female character right after we try it on um, this male character. But let's take a quick look at a couple die options and just see how these look. Because the colors are all very uniform, the dye just kind of changes it to a single color. Let's see if there's uh, some more variation if you do like a black and white. That usually brings out the contrast in the armor quite a bit. That's what it looks like with black and white. When you use a Martian dye, the sun kind of changes more into like a magical energy thing behind you, which kind of looks pretty sweet. I actually like the Martian dye on this. Now let's take a look at this final set, which is the Ghost Stars set. We've got the Ghost Stars Soul Jar, we've got the Ghost Stars Garb, we've got the Ghost Stars Tights, and the Ghost Stars Infinity 8. These wings look so cool. They're like flaming swords that form a wing. And when you finish flying, the wings rest by your side like an insect. I think it is absolutely awesome. It's probably one of the more unique wings that I've seen in Terraria. And I really think it would go quite well with a lot of different armor sets and vanities. The Martian die looks so good. It looks like it's the Spectre version of these wings. Let's see Martian die across the whole outfit. Very nice. And maybe let's try something simple, just like red and black. Red and black looks pretty neat as well. Here are the wings with the Shadow Flame Hades die. And I think that looks like one of my favorites. I think the flame effect on this adds so much to it. Like I said earlier with Grox the Great's armor set, both of these can be acquired with hard mode treasure bags. So the more bosses you kill and the more treasure bags you collect, the higher chance you will have to get these awesome vanity sets. So I'm going to really quickly switch over to a female character so we can see what these look like. 
So here is a female character that I just created and let's put on some solar armor before we get the slimes invading. And now let's try out some of these vanity sets. So let's start with the Grok set that we showed first with our other character and here it is. And it looks almost identical on a female character. I can't notice any changes. So let's jump right to the next one. So here is the safe man set and it looks pretty cool. I actually really like the way it looks on a female character. I think it looks a little bit better. I just put on the infernal wisp die and that looks kind of fun. Here is the ghost star set on a female character and I think it looks way better. I think it's it kind of got a little bit of a dress thing going on and I think it looks good on a female character. I just added the bright cyan and it looks pretty cool. Here is a combination of Martian dye on the wings and then cyan and silver on the body and it looks pretty sweet. So there's some cool options with this one. I just mainly think the wings are the best, but the dress or the kind of dress outfit looks pretty cool as well. I do like the little skull in the hair. In fact, maybe we could kind of make that skull a little brighter and put like a white dye and that way the skull is like a fully white skull. I mean, that could be pretty cool for some um, different vanity options. We don't have too many hair pieces in Terraria that still allow you to see your hair. And I like that when you're walking, this actually looks kind of like a magical cape. So those are the three new vanities on a female character. Looks pretty awesome. And that concludes our showcase of the three new vanity sets. Be sure to fight lots of hard mode bosses and open lots of expert mode treasure bags because that's going to be how you get these. And yeah, I don't think there's anything special. It's just about luck. They're very low drop rate, just like all the vanity sets. So you'll just have to keep farming them up or just play the game and eventually you will get them. I hope you found this video enjoyable and helpful. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to continue posting lots of videos showing all of the new 1.4 content. I'll also be doing a Let's Play soon, and I just finished a Calamity Let's Play on my channel that was really fun, so if you want to check that out, be sure to do so. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.